Okay guys, a place I've never been before. We found a store called Ross. I wonder if they might have any toys. Let's run in here, check it out. Showtime folks, what have we got here today? Oh, we still got a little bit of sin. <laughs> a little bit of sin going on here in Ross, you know what I'm saying? Let's scan our top shelf first. Not really seeing anything different than I had the other day, but you never can tell. Let's see what we got here. I can already tell we're looking for big boxes. There's no Viper 3 packs. Um, all right, nothing sexy and exciting down there. What do we got over on this rest of this shelf? I scanned the top first. Usually, we put the GI Joe's most of the time. There's Mikey, the big tech deck thing they've got there. What's behind the mud slinger here? Nothing. Uh, army sets and Roblox down there. I do see the Thor hammer sitting over on the table, so I know they've restocked something. Plus, we'll check up at the register. Just to see if they got any Joes up there. She's also got a stock car. I wonder if she has any Joes on that. I don't see anything. Let's see what we got over here. Got a turtle on a skateboard. Roblox, as you see, we got the Love and Thunder hammer. Fortnite, actually a bunch of those little skateboarding turtles. There's a Minecraft thing. I saw that during the Ross Stravaganza. Oh, it's a shark. <laughs> How much is the shark? I don't have a, there he is. $4.99. Okay. That might be a pickup. That shark's pretty cool. I think that's the first time seeing that. I don't, can't remember for sure. Uh, let's just take a look over in there. Make sure we're not overlooking anything. Oh, <laughs> right in me. Another hammer. I might have turned the orientation of that picture, but... What do we got over here? We're going to try to hit some different stores than just Ross stores in this video. My last one was pretty Ross heavy. Actually, it dropped the day I'm filming in here, so I'm kind of curious to see how it does. I'm afraid it's going to bomb because I only went to one, pretty much one store. <laughs> okay, that's going to do it for our toy section. The shark and the Thor hammer is a bit new, and the tech deck there is the new stuff I'm seeing here so far. But let's head up to the registers, see if they got anything. There's my shark. <laughs> I seek my fish on you. <laughs> my brother, he was a baby. My dad always tells the story of he had a toy shark. He would always look at my dad and point to that shark at him and say, I seek my fish on you. <laughs> Bring that memory, sorry. Uh, Dr. Strange. Oh, that's pretty cool. Supreme Strange. Uh, what we got here? Mando. There's that Batman Funko Shop exclusive. Zons. That one's heavy. We do have some Joes. The full disclosure wasn't here yesterday. They had the barbecue up here, but they're all gone now, apparently. What else we got? Same old Transformers. We got Controller Wave down there. There's Siren. Actually, four Sirens and two Mad of Hydras. Some more Pops. I don't see anything I really want to go around to grab. Thanos, Monster Strike stuff. We do have this little Transformer. And we got Grogu. And we got... Who is it? Jyn Erso. I think I saw her at, at a Ross before. I don't remember which one. And again, you're in a thousand of these stores a week. <laughs> I don't think I've seen Ned B yet. Let's take a picture of him. I've seen him at Target a bunch of times. I don't know about Ross, though. The fifth brother. I'm not sure if I've seen the fifth brother either. Actually, let's just combine and take a picture of both. Yeah, that's thumbnail fodder right there, boys. What have we got? More Blue Rangers. Okay, I think that's going to do it for this, Ross. We're going to head out of here, check a few more stores. If I find anything, I'll show it to you. If not, well, then I'll see you at the next one. We are here at the Greenville, Ross. We're going to run inside because uh, one of the members of a group chat I'm in, Art G, who's also on YouTube, just dropped some pictures of some Marvel Legends hitting in California, Ross. You know, some carded Wolverine, some carded X-Men figures. So let's go see if they got them. Let's take a look here. They still got the green arrows from the other night. Batmobiles. Uh, this place has massively restocked. I'm going to have to talk about it the whole time because the music is stupid loud here today. Let's take a peek back here. Just make sure that's pretty cool. Look at that. Hmm. All right. Let's go back to the toy aisle here. Let's see what they got. 
Spider Man hanging out there. There's another that motorcycle guy. Yep. Don't know my Transformers too good, guys. Or very well. I use some bad grammar there, I think, but be all right. You got Supreme Strange. We saw that earlier. Green Arrow. Um, Transformers. Man, they are stocked. This is probably the most stuff I have seen at this Raw, to be quite honest with you. There's Madam Hydra. Oh, here's something different. Loki. We're going to take his picture and send that to my buddies. Uh, what else we got up here? I picked this thing up. I think I got him for $7.49, which I paid a little bit more for him, but I didn't know at the time. I don't think any of us predicted. Like I said in the, in the intro walking in here, I can't believe the figures that Art G was sending pictures of. I don't know if some of his friends had found them or he had seen them in that Ross, but man, awesome, awesome, awesome. I am right under a speaker. I'm, I'm going to get copyrighted on this one. It's going to happen. I may have had to voice over this one. The Enderman, I've seen him here before a few times. Psycho Man, I didn't, I didn't even say anything about that. That's probably the only figure of that line I don't want. <laughs> I've got High Evolutionary. I got him at Burlington a long time ago. I like to have the Fantastic Four. I know we can get some of them at Ollie's for 10 bucks, but I don't want them for 10 bucks. If I'm honest, I don't want them that bad. But if I can find them here for $4.99, or what are these? $4.99, $5.99. I would definitely buy them. They got this thing. This is Target. I noticed today when I was in Target in Bristol, they've lowered their price on this to $29.99. So, like I said, you've got retail. They're starting to push back a little. Those are all static shocks. Oh no. Nobody saw that. We're good. Um, what's back in here? Pops. Uh, more pops. Stranger Things. Corvettes. Ahsoka's back in there. Um. Mario set. More Mario stuff, statues, anime, Minecraft. What's down here? Another tech deck set. Um, there's a drone. Oh, nothing else down there. Sexy looks like. And there's Speedball. Star Wars figs, some more three and three quarter. I think that's Obi Wan back in there. Mattel, what's that? Enderman. Okay, another Minecraft. There's the Emperor and C3PO laying there. There's Havoc. Can't even see Havoc. And there's Maggot back in there. Some Bruce Wayne. Another Psycho Man, more anime statues, Enderman, more Psycho Man. Alright, dinosaur. <sighs> Man, that's loud music. Let's walk out here. Oh, look what they have got. The Power Rangers Lightning Collection. Lord Zed Helmet. <laughs> if I knew that would fit my fat head. I will consider getting that. Let's see. I don't think they're going to have her. I didn't look at the end cap. But I don't think they're going to have her. Card and Legends. Just now hitting in California. It'll be a while before it gets over here. I think I was a week. Maybe two weeks behind T3. Finding um, Croc Master and stuff. Oh. <laughs> I saw that little sliver of a G.I. Joe down there. That's Croc Master. I thought Viper 3 pack. There's Boom Boom. They got the $3.99 Mando figure. I got I opened it up last night. That's actually a pretty nice figure. I gotta say. Yep, down there's Croc Master hanging out. Let's get back over here. Uh, what do they got on the back side of this over here? Sometimes they stick some action figures on the back part of this little shelf, but it doesn't look like it today. Let's pull the dress up. No, 
nothing we're looking for under there and i'll pull the other side up i can't get to that one the mario set that's pretty cool um yeah, nothing we're looking for under there give me a pizza shack uh, there's another thor hammer we've seen that kind of frequently now power ranger sword beyblade black and decker they got the crusader batmobile there's a basketball more dinos more thor hammers they got one two at least three thor hammers man it'd be sweet to find that black panther helmet there's a lego set under there you can see it seemingly been finding man but they're stocked today they've got stuff everywhere um not seeing anything else oh i'm bumping stuff behind me there another big tech deck thing dragon ball over in there more anime statues and figures uh, what do we got here let's move that more of these roblox vehicles this thing actually looks pretty cool um well some my hero academia stuff that big monster jam sets everywhere Let's pull this dress up and see what's under it. Lightyear. Thor hammer. Okay, guys. Huh, well, we got some hitters here. That's pretty cool. The Zed helmet's cool. I not seen that yet. So, we're going to check out now. If I find anything else up by the register, you know the man collects. He'll show it to you. If I don't, then I'll see you at the next one. Home base Ross. Okay, full disclosure, I was here earlier and filmed. They didn't have much. They have stock since then. So I can go ahead and tell you. They did not have Iron Man. They did not have those twins when I was here earlier. So we're hoping for some more stuff. I don't think they had those siren and pops and stuff in there either. So let's see if they got anything else. Um... That's new too. It, who wants that? Who's behind that? I got the five pack in. That wasn't here earlier. Not it was that Spider Man. That's kind of cool, man. I got here a little too early. Maybe I'm wondering if I hit the other Ross stores too early today because I didn't really find a whole lot any of them. Well, I found some. Don't get me wrong, but you know, not the one we've been seeing. I'd like to find those retro carded legends. That would be awesome. Those X Men ones that seem to be hitting everywhere. Psycho Man is about all they seem to have in Carded Legends. And they got a bunch of those. Those still Psycho Man. I think they've gotten some more of those in since I was here today. They got some several. Pops. There's the Tech Tech Skate Park is showing up everywhere. A bunch of static sh Oh, those are static shot back in there. Yep. <laughs> they got a lot of static shot. There's some more Psycho Man hanging out in there. Three more of them. So right there's three. And they got four, five total. Oh, I know I'm all over the place, guys, looking, but... Bear with me. We'll get through it all here. <laughs> That's Havoc. They did have Havoc early. I remember seeing him. What's under that? Power Rangers. All right, so they got a little bit of stuff since I was here earlier, but hey... One thing we're probably going to pick up is that. I've got that, but I'd like to have one to open. And let's just squat down here. Here's the big doom guy. Uh, Paw Patrol, another tech, or tech deck. All right, let's get out and check the tables. Let's see if we've got anything out there. Yep, let's go check them twins. Okay, we have fought our way to Target here in Kingsport, Tennessee. They should have opened the doors a couple of minutes ago. I bet the Hot Wheel Collector's already beat me inside. <laughs> but let's get in here and see if we can find any action figures. Here we go. Toy aisle. Um, well, guys, I gotta say, I am kind of disappointed this morning. 
Um, I wanted to get here from when they opened. Well, actually, I did. They were open like one minute when I got here. But my Hot Wheels collectors, they hit this store every every Saturday morning. They didn't get a truck in. They didn't get any Hot Wheels. You can tell they were a little bit disappointed. They're a nice group. Don't get me wrong. I get tickled. That's cool. I get kind of tickled watching them gather by the door before the store opens. And they're all nice, cordial, and friendly with each other. Man, when that door opens, <laughs> it's every man for himself to get back here to the Hot Wheels. What is it with Target getting shipments of that thing in? It's a this year figure, but it was like, for, what, Q1? I think that came out back in the spring, maybe early, maybe it's come out in the summer or the early summer. Uh, Wonder Woman, that's a cool figure, I think. Jim Gordon, I think it's first time seeing him at a Target store. Gold label, awkward man. And then our Joes. Man, they got a lot of officers. Look at that. Uh, I hope they've got... There's Ripper. Ripper, Ripper, Ripper. Cobra officer, Cobra officer, Flint. Oh. We've got one. I haven't seen this but one time. But two, I think it is. I think it was Tunnel Rat. Ah, yeah, they got a Tunnel Rat. That's cool. Get off there, tunnel rat. Huh. That is cool. We'll set him down there. I got a Python Patrol um, Copperhead and then Vipers. And there's another Cobra Officer Python Patrol. That one I like as well. Flint. And what do we got down here? Flint, Vipra, a whole bunch of Flints, and then Cobra Officers. I got a bunch of those. So. Cool, they still got um, a copperhead. We're gonna take a picture of some of these. I'll fix these back in a second because one of those I might pick up, two of those I might pick up. <laughs> Let's see what we got in our legends this morning. I think that's a moon knight. Now, somebody posed this question. I don't remember who. I don't know where I saw that, but, anyways, I have also seen this figure with the black head sculpt on the body. Maybe it's just something, the way it got packaged. I was hoping one behind it would have it from the factory. I mean, it could be a repackage. I don't know, but it's not a variant. It doesn't appear to be, but just the black heads on there instead of the white face. Um, only an MJ is all they got in No Way Home or some Scarlet Witch happening. They sold all their Venom. I that Venom Space Knight 2 pack is sold pretty good in my area. Of course, you had to buy one, get one 50% thing. For a long time, that wiped out a lot of legends in my area, but this Target still has a, a hefty stock of Kingpins, Nick Furies, and Agathas. I would like to have that one whenever clearance season hits. All right, what we got over here some puzzles. I like they're in 10. That's cool. There's a marble down there. What's that marble puzzle look like? Rolando, he posted a picture of a lot of puzzles. Uh, that's kind of cool. With more classic art, I might go with it. Blue Cage from WWE. We got some Triple H, some Ultimate Rande. Feeling a little Rande this morning. <laughs> None of the Micro Galaxy Squadron, the big stuff. I still got this thing. I don't, let me know in your guys' area. These aren't moving in mine. Um, GameStop still has like four of Han Solo and Bristol. They had three last weekend when I was here. Now, let me preface. I say that. Maybe they're selling really quick and they're just restocking them. But it doesn't look like they're moving. These little sets are cool, but for $28? No way. Darth Vader, Ashoka, Sabine, Map Room, Indy. Oh, I killed the snow trooper. And Map Room, Indy's all they got. I remember people thinking that was going to be a hot figure and that's paper warm everywhere as well indiana jones figure line seem to fizzle out pretty quick still got that awesome skeletor there's that skeletor we're gonna see if he's on clearance yet it's not a sticker on the shelf but that doesn't mean he's not already mocked down the brachiosaur is cool there's Genghis, mikey leo and leo so i don't have any of the Donnie and Raph in disguise yet. Um, the Metacarpital 
source syndrome <laughs> big leo well let's overlook something over here guys i'm coming probably going to do it for our toy section our action figures this week here sludge just cheat here and okay that's all they got still you a series and i got those two packs we're not going to talk about i'll pass them a second ago <sighs> okay well we're gonna go check some die casts and some other stuff here if we find anything i'll show it to you if i don't then i'll see you the next one man look at the slush heads okay let's go find us some platinums and all kinds of good stuff here hey they got a grandpa i don't think they had it last time i was here i don't remember now one thing NECA I have not seen any of my areas yet and just scanning I don't see it here is the uh, from the thing the the creature that big set I haven't seen that there's the black lagoon black and white version and then the phantom of the opera let's take a look at grandpa here <laughs> I did not watch Rob Zombie's Halloween or not Halloween I saw that monsters movie there I don't know if that's any good or not if anybody watched it let me know in the comments if I need to watch it or not. Michael Myers. We got a bear to the terrors. <laughs> the Grady twins. There's Lexington hanging out back there. That new demon looking thing from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book. Nigga. There's just some predators back in there. There's a Toonie Terror behind... Marty McFly, Ghostface, Creep Show, and we're getting into our animes. Uh, I will tell you one thing, I see them every now and then. The Street Fighter figures have kind of dried up in my area. Oh, there's some Injustice. Okay, not, not a Platinum. There's Superman. Brainiac is a nice looking figure. I found the Platinum in him twice. The Superman, I don't know, I don't... I don't dislike it. I just don't don't like it. <laughs> it is a good looking figure. Just not my cup of tea. There's another Brainiac. That's another regular version. It's two regs and no platinums. Blackest Night. There's Firestorm. And then Blackest Night. Sinestro. And another Firestorm. This one I'm still debating on. If I can get him off the peg. If I'm going to get Mr. Freeze or not. I think these are still on sale. I think it ends today. But yeah. That's the only one I would consider getting out of that wave. There's Batman. Who's behind him there? Scarecrow regular. Another Scarecrow. The Batman figure to me in this wave looks the worst. because I'm sorry, I hate that cell shading. Another Batman, Robin, another Scarecrow, two more Scarecrows, neither of them are Platinum. Like I said, this one, still thinking about getting Mr. Freeze. I'm still on the fence. I'm afraid if I get that one, plus I've already got the Platinum Scarecrow, I'm going to start getting the itch to complete the wave, and I don't really need those. Robin, a bunch of Bat Cycles. Like I said, all that stuff was marked down. I don't know if it still is. They're gonna have a plat. Yep, they got the platinum doing figures. Huh? We found a platinum. <laughs> got our best action turts hanging out up there. And yes, I was trying to be cool and say turts, T-U-R-T-S, not turds. Who's this here? Shredder. There you go, target. Be a solid. So got Roger hanging out up here. Hey, Donald Duck. What's up, Donald? That's cool looking. Stranger. I need to watch Stranger Things. I haven't watched that either. I'm grossly behind on TV. 70% clearance some of these pops. 359 for some of them. There's a whole rack of clearance ones behind me here we're getting ready to look at in a second. I wonder if they're marked down that far. There's Jubilee. They got both of the 8-bit pops. I saw Magneto somewhere. There's one down there. Uh, Black Panther. That Spider Man one is really cool. Spider Man and then the Wolverine there. The Wolverine one I like as well. There's Thor. Have I seen the Thor one yet? I can get a hold of him. 
that's pretty cool i was say like, pop's got a good I and mean, this is cool they're pricey they're too expensive it should be 19 dollars in my opinion but you know you get a case they're easy to display they look pretty cool as well so Hey, these are 359 Star Wars Haja Hod I can't say that Hod I can't say it Haja Haja Estri. There we go. 899 for those. Oh man. 1049 for the Goblin down there, and then Big Leo is 1349. Uh, there's no way those are on sale for that yet. I wouldn't think so. I might scan. <laughs> I may scan Wolverine just to be sure. But that looks like that's going to be it, guys. We're going to do another solid here. We're going to put Raphael back over here. And I'll oh, get him on the pig. And we're probably going to wrap this target up. If I do see anything else in here, I will show it to you. I might dig through these cheap pops to see if there's anything in there worth getting. If I do find something, I'll show it to you. If I don't, then we will see you at our next destination. Walmart, Fort Henry Drive. Let's run in here and see what you got going on this morning. Hopefully all kinds of goodies. Here we go, one of my favorite Walmarts. Let's go, I found some good stuff here a few times and we're hoping for it again. What we got here, laser cycle. So are these new guys? I'm, I'm not a Transformers guy, obviously, which reminds me, I overlooked apparently a very valuable Transformer at um, the Ross in Johnson City, Tennessee on my Ross Stravaganza, the previous video before this one. It was Cosmos. Apparently that was a hard to find Walmart exclusive. I had no idea. I don't even know fully if I saw it. I have to go back and rewatch my video and see, but you know, I was just there. It's been, I'm sure that's, that's gotta be gone by now. But we're gonna be at that Walmart or Ross here again this morning. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll still be there. I mean, there's three Ray Filets. I could put the camera up there for you. That's the most, oh, there's Mondo. They got April. Oh, they got April, cool. They got the new ones. That's awesome. I always love seeing these things, man. I love the, the retro turtles. Oh, they got a ratchet. Oh, and they got the Optimus. Okay, we're going to take some pictures of these. Ratchet, I do know. He was one of my favorites when I was just a wee little lad collects. I know that Optimus, I think, is new. And my buddies in the chat groups are mentioning that so eh, cool to see those this morning ratchet looks awesome ratchet i'm tempted to buy i'll be quite honest with you but probably not gonna we'll turn him up around his side hopefully somebody's looking for him you'll see him we got some x-men 97 oh i see some no way home figures there is photon there's mondo gecko i turned up there it's back to me this is another one of those stores guys you got to watch the top because gentleman keeps the stock out pretty regular back in here and it's easy to overlook something there's bebop sexy shredders all kinds of i'm gonna get them down we've seen them before all kinds of good turtles up there and what have we got here we got storm magneto bishop magneto still got a jessica drew and then we got both for 25 bucks that's a bargain MJ, oh, here we go, okay. Collecting Havoc, fellow YouTuber, check him out. He's almost to a 1,000 subs. He actually might already be. I haven't checked him this morning. He made a joke about this thing looking like Kevin Spacey, and I think he got some trolls in his comments, you know, telling him it wasn't, I don't know what they said, but anyways, like I said, here we go. Collecting Havoc buddy, Kevin Spacey, Matt Murdock. <laughs> that doesn't look like Charlie Cox, I'm sorry. I kind of get a spacey vibe where the head shape is on it, but it don't look like Charlie Cox. There you go, Havoc. I told you I'd give you a tribute for that one, buddy. I thought it was funny. Older legend. Still got Photon hanging out back there if I didn't see her already. Um, someone shared a picture. I think it was T3 Collects of um, Photon showing up at a Ross store, but you can tell the Ross price tag has been put in, or placed over top of a GameStop price tag, so... I think somebody was just trying to be a little facetious on that one. Trying to create some... They don't... Ross doesn't need any more hysteria created for them. They've got enough already. <laughs> oh, they got superpowers on clearance. Check out the savings. That right there gets on my nerves. That is not clearance. That's retail. 
they still got a buttload of future state and rebirth batman here and look at all these old that's that, that's wave one and there's already a new wave announced and they still got pegs and pegs of these we're never going to see those at walmart which doesn't tick me off too bad i found most of mine at gamestop but still you got the reverse flash and then you've got um what else the black manta are all oh, here <laughs> this, this is kind of like Platinum Scarecrow as many times as I have found that thing. Another Jim Gordon. Dark Knights of Steel. A Batman. And a Dark Knights of Steel. And I'll fix all those back pretty here in a second. But <laughs> Another Platinum Jim Gordon as Batman. <laughs> oh, I didn't look at build a figures. Blackest Night. Death Storm Blackout. Okay. Blackest Night's all we've got. So, yeah, we found our Platinum. <laughs> that was cool. There's a bunch of Black Lightnings. What's this one? Black Lightning as well. Those are starting to hit clearance in some hunters' markets. I'm not going to. Well, I might scan them here in case any of my, my fine folks are looking for them. We'll do that. I'll turn the camera off. If it is on clearance, I'll have something on the screen here. If it was not on clearance, I won't have anything. What's this? Uh, okay, we gotta be careful with this. I wanna see if they might be chases. Nope, they're all red. And, oh, crap, I lost one. Uh, okay, we'll put him back over there. There's Supergirl. Uh, got some mission fleets, Batman Adventures. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, looking right past these. One of those. We got Luke's X Wing. That's pretty cool. And another one of Luke's X Wing. So, none of the Y Wings or the N1 Starfighters. Um. those i don't see anything hitters in those do have r2d2 from mandalorian there is pez vizsla hk assassin droid hk professor who hang assault droid and grief carga there is cindella another hoo-ha i have rock that one's cool looking okay luke nothing to write home about there what they got over here Pez Vizsla is cool looking, I will say. Bunch of Moss Man. Power Rangers, Steve Austin's monster truck. Do they have a winged eagle title? Don't see one. Here we got our Bobas. And we've got what? Wrecker and a bunch of Chrysanthemums. Uh, Nala, Anna J, Anna J, Jericho. Yeah, nothing exciting there. No snake men. Drew McIntyre. They do have a crimson. I had a crimson guard here for a while. Brock Lesnar, basic. Bunch of scrap iron. Uh, somebody's backing something up. That's annoying. I apologize. Somebody's backing that thing up. Uh, rock and roll and shipwreck. Let's see what now we've got. We got Donkey Kong and Boom Boom. Oh my lord, that is loud. That beeping's annoying. I'm very sorry, guys. Donkey Kong is for the end of the peg. I don't think there's anything new in that out, so I'm not going to dig through that and knock them all off. But those are all Donkey Kong. There might be a Diddy back there. I don't know. Curiosity, I gotta know. <laughs> Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. We're knocking everything off this morning. Diddy Kong, huh? They do have a Diddy. They got Diddy, they got Daddy. Now one of my subscribers, John, was looking for Samus in this line. I haven't seen a Samus in a while. They don't have one this morning. And we got some Pokemon here on the end, but that's going to do it for the action figures. We're going to scan around the tops back here a little bit more just to make sure we don't have anything else. There's a bunch of Crimson Guards up there. I'm going to scan those. Tall Joe found those things for nine bucks at his Walmart, but. Anyways, if I find anything else back here, I'll let you know. If I don't, then I'll see you at the next one.
We are here at Ross in Kingsport, and we're probably a little bit too early for them to stock anything, but they don't get trucks on Saturdays. But anyways, long story short, one of my viewers, Barbaricus2006, found the zombie Iron Man figure here yesterday. So we're gonna run in here and see if we can find some legends. All right, we're here in the back of the store, which tradition at this Ross location, they don't put a whole lot back here. There's that Lego set. But let's see what we got here this morning. Uh, oh man, look at that Spider-Man thing. That's not bad looking. Sonic. Uh, let's take a look. Mandalorian bicycle. Right there is where I first found the Thor hammer. And I've seen it at several raw stores since, but this is the first one I found it at, so I'm a little partial. There's a Power Ranger. Um, there is a G2 Universe Megatron. That's kind of cool. I've never seen a green Megatron. Minecraft, which ain't turned out to be another highly valuable Transformer that I don't recognize. I'm going to leave it sitting on a shelf. Um, yep, don't believe they got anything back here. Let's check up front. And we got some tables we can hit over here. Not stalkers, is it? Nope. Okay. All right, let's see what we got over here. Paw Patrol. It's Power Ranger swords. Some guns. I better not step on that, man. I'll go on a ride I don't want to go on. That'd be a good comedic section for the man collects me falling and breaking my butt bone in Ross. How many views that would get? <laughs> oh, Lordy. I'm not seeing anything on this little table. Here's the Optimus Primal thing, but let's get out in the middle part of the store there and let's see what we can find. All right, I'm going to have to talk a lot because that music is really, really loud. Don't know if it's copyright music or not, but we don't want to get copyrighted. I did see the tech deck thing somewhere i think it's a shark that's cool i saw the shark in bristol and took a picture of that my buddies we always share it we're finding at the ross stores so i'm sure there's some facebook groups for that as well i haven't joined any ross groups i've actually left most of the facebook groups i was in because all people do is whine and complain in there anymore but anyways i was whining and complaining about the people whining and complaining so i guess i'm part of the problem <laughs> some die cast and stuff there we got some turtle stuff there i know i'm moving fast guys i'm not seeing anything if i'm overlooking something just tell me in the comments i could have cried when those guys started talking about that transformer i overlooked cosmos and then a lot of my buddies were looking for it said you couldn't find it in walmart's back in the day i was like oh, i have failed and let down the nerd community and i'm very sorry for that pokemon Beyblades, anime stuff, Fast and the Furious. This looks like all Sonic. Some of those army play sets, which are kind of cool. And we got some more tables up front we're going to go check out. And then we'll look up by the registers if we can see anything. But so far, I'm not seeing any Marvel Legends. But let's go see if we can find some up front. We must be quiet as we approach the front section where most of the action figures are. We don't want to spook them and make them run away. This thing is cool. 70 bucks. I've been wondering how much that thing is. I've seen that at several raw stores. Got us a Hot Wheel shipper here. What's in it? Uh, some cool little sets there. There's an Apex figure. That's not bad looking. Let's check that out. That's actually kind of cool. For $6.99, you don't need that. Put it down. You already have enough crap. There's Sin. Somebody told me they needed Sin. Huh, I don't remember. I'm going to take a picture of Sin. I'll shoot that out to the group. Hopefully they'll respond before I leave here. Now we're going to look through these Transformers this time. This is all the booby tassel guy. There's Siren. Oh, two Sirens. Three Sirens. Havoc, buddy. Come get you, woman. She's stalking me. I saw she's stalking some other hunters, too. You have shunned her too long. She is looking for other options. <laughs> uh, that's cool. I think I just saw that at Target. And I picked this thing up on clearance at Walmart a while back. Seven, I didn't get it for seven ninety nine. I don't think. But it had Infinity Gauntlet on it. I'm a sucker for that. What kind of pop? This may have been where I found that cool Dracula pop the other day. Uh, there's Craglin, Guardians of the Galaxy. 
Captain Hook, Siren, and Darwin hanging out there. Well, not seeing any of the what if wave here, but there might be some stuff by the register. My buddy there might have got the last one on me. <laughs> but let's head over to the register and let's see what we can find. All right, we are braving the rain to get into the other Walmart here in Kingsport. And let's get in here and see what kind of finds they've got. All righty, let's start here. Man, they've got so many superpowers. They're down here with the um, Power Rangers and stuff. Um, let's see, not seeing anything down here we don't usually see. I just want to make sure they haven't snuck any new superpowers down here. That'd be awesome. Uh, rock and roll, I'll keep passing on you, buddy. I hope I don't regret that. There's another one in a shipwreck. They got a couple here. And then our usual retro quarters. That thing was five bucks the other day on Walmart's website. I wish I would have got him when he was on sale on the website. I may need to check. He might still be today. I don't know. There's Moss Man. Got Piper. Oh, yellow boots. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I kind of get taken aback a little bit when I see that Hogan figure now. Oh, they got Mr. T. That's awesome. I want to see Mr. T one other time. The card's a little damaged, but. Mr. Perfect's a good one, too. Those are all Papa Shango and um, Million Dollar Man. Uh, got some Power Rangers. WWE. Man, they ain't got a lot of WWE. Robert Roode. I really enjoyed him back in TNA back in the day when he was the champion. Jericho. Randy Orton. They don't have the Winged Eagle title belt. Man, I should have bought that stupid Winged Eagle title belt. I need to go back to that Walmart. I didn't make it there this week. I got a bunch of Micro Galaxy. There's a Starfighter. There is that Luke Skywalker's. Yep. There's the fish fin thing. Somebody's tried to procure that, looks like. It's been opened. There's another one of the V Wing Starfighters. Jedi Interceptor. Toy Fighter. Red Stamp. <laughs> There is a wild wing. Oh, oh, we got a rare. Awesome. Which one is this one? This is Series 4 Wedge Antilus X-Wing Damaged. That's cool. And there's one of the better ones that's come out in this series lately. The N1 Starfighter. And then another one of the fish fin things back there. That's a nice one. This is really nice. We're probably going to pick this up, just to be quite honest. And there's some more of the N1 Starfighter. Uh, I don't know where to put this up. Another one of the Y Wings. Oh, man. That thing's really nice. I'm not even showing one on camera. Sorry, I got excited. Oh, I don't want to look at this. Two of them. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, I think I get a hold of them here. Man, they are stuck to the hilt down through here. It's just sadly some older stuff. But I got some people coming around me, guys. I gotta check out for a second. I'll be right back. So I am back at the scene of the crime, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Ross store that had that rare transformer that I had no idea what I found. So <laughs> we're gonna go in here and hope against hope they might still have it. I also have a feeling some of my buddies are hoping against hope that they still have it. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here and see Power Ranger. Uh, some Transformers down there, but I don't see that little guy. Uh, maggot, Naruto Wars, Gore, Darwin. There's another legend back there, another Maggot. Don't see anything else there. They got anything stuck on these camps. Some more Lego friend sets. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's make sure nobody slung anything up under that shelf. Oh, gosh, I don't see anything. I should use the camera instead of bending down like that, shouldn't I? There's gore hanging out back there. What is that? That's a transform, but I don't think it's that one. Oh, crap. Lord have mercy. That's the aggravating thing about raw stores right now. They've gotten so much stuff, and so many people are picking through them. There's another X-Men down there. Siren, okay. All right, now, back to what I was doing before I destroyed the store. Nope, that is not bird. Else we got back there. Ooh, I see one thing might be a possible pickup. That little Technic set I liked. I built the 
chopper there. I didn't build the other version. I don't know if I want to do that or not. And we got a bunch of those. A dinosaur. Huh, I see those still in. Uh, somebody stole a Fortnite thing, looks like. Gamora with the Blade of Thanos. Our five pack Amazon exclusive. Uh, these little tool sets. There's the blue Warhammer guy. That thing looks great. I picked that up the other day. A uh, bunch of dinos here. I'm going to try to make sure the Batman's Lena Kyle back there. Mm. Dinos, Roblox, Gundam. There's an Amazon exclusive Batwing. Like My Hero Academia. Hey, we got a Joe. <laughs> Uh, let's see, a bunch of these anime statues, I don't know what any of that crap is. I shouldn't have called it crap, I didn't mean that, I'm sorry. Hey, a Thor hammer. <laughs> What's behind this thing? Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Another one. Darwin. Oh, there's one of the Simpson tops. Okay, this is the vicinity of where it was the other day. I said I heavily doubt it was actually on this shelf or maybe this bottom one. Hey, skateboards again. Don't see anything down there. There is a lot of toy hunting degenerates right now hoping that I find that thing. <laughs> That's the name of our little group chat on Instagram. Oops, sorry guys. I didn't think it would be here. I don't think that it is. I am going to dig under those skateboards once I turn the camera off. I'm not going to take a chance of knocking that stuff everywhere. Some Star Wars back in there. I'm going to dig that out and see who that is. Um, uh, Minecraft. Fish food, dude. Dots hanging over there. There's Nabbit. <laughs> For real. Yep, guys, I don't think they're going to have Cosmos. That hammer for $35, that thing is awesome. I'm sorry, I like that. Uh, let's peek around here. Let's get back far enough where I can see what's under those skateboards. No, nope, there's nothing under there. So, doesn't look like we're still going to find Cosmos. Oh, well, I found something really cool. I didn't even know it. <laughs> but anything that does bring awareness now, hunters know that that little Walmart exclusive transformer called Cosmos is hitting at Ross. If you go back to my previous video, the Ross Stravaganza, around the 48 minute timestamp, you'll see it. It's down around this shelf here where you see these other Majora pops at. It's chilling there on the shelf. I guess if I would have known, I would have got it. <laughs> uh, Monster Jam. Nothing back over in there. The Hot Wheel. Sorry guys, no smashing up close there. It's, just, it's hard to look in here and really see everything without getting right up into the shelf. Because they're getting so much stuff. And I had a buddy, 10-8 figures from Texas sent me a picture just before I came in the store. There's another Warhammer back there, that artist proof of a Ross where he's at. And they had that Marvel Legends, a 3.75 scale Sentinel. That was like 25 bucks on um, Hasbro Pulse for I think $5.99, $6.99 at his Ross in Texas. So crazy the stuff that's hitting Ross. Scarecrow. There's Gore and Sabretooth. Yeah, okay, guys. There's Chewy down there hanging out, too. We're going to go through this some more. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me dig through it all. If I do find that Transformer, you know I'll show it to you. But if you don't see anything else, I'll probably see you at probably Target. Hello, everyone. 
and my name is Chris. You're watching The Man Collects, and I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me here on another toy hunting adventure. But before we get into that toy hunt, let's do some plugs for some other things. Number one, Man Collects feeling sexy again tonight, and it's not because of the freshly shaven face. It's because we got on T3 Collects t-shirt. And really, guys, I've had this shirt for a little while to support T3. Um, check him out. Link to his channel is in the description. You can go in there and find where to go look for other merch. But uh, This shirt was a limited edition during Halloween. I was going to do for Carlos like I did for General Kenobi's Bunker and have a bunch of information on here of where you can go to buy this shirt. But he only did this one during Halloween. But if you go to his YouTube page, you'll find links to get to where he sells merch and pick you up some T3 some T Collects merchandise. I'm a really good guy, really good member of the toy hunting community. So support him, pick something up. And again, this is a very comfortable shirt, much like General Kenobi. So the man collects, does approve, and recommends T3 Collects t-shirts. All right, with all that being said, we're going to talk about another thing with T3 Collects. That's his next the Undisputed live stream, which is this Tuesday, December the 12th, 2023. It starts at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 p.m. Central Time, and 6 p.m. Pacific time. So check us out on there. Uh, T3 is on his channel. Again, the link's in the description of this. You'll have a graphic here on the screen. A great panel of guests. It's going to be a great time. Man Collect's going to be on there. Really looking forward to that. So check that out this Tuesday, December the 12th, on T3 Collect's channel. And now we're going to do one more plug for another really good friend of the channel. We're going to talk about Collecting Havoc. When I hit record on this little wrap-up tonight, Collecting Havoc was sitting at 991 subscribers. He needs to be at 1,000. The he, way he's been growing, dude's probably already there by the time you see this video. But if he's not, go check out Collecting Havoc. Subscribe to his channel. He does great toy hunts. Um, he's very funny. I like watching him in his videos. It's good to hear his commentary in there. But check out John on Collecting Havoc. Give him a subscription. If you go and he's already got 1,000, go ahead and subscribe anyways and keep building his channel. He's got a really good uh, YouTube channel there. We want to support him and get him all the viewers and subscrib subscriptions. I might be able to get him. Again, he doesn't need my help. The way the dude's been growing, but still, I like to throw out shout-outs to friends there. So, hopefully, I can help him get there. You know, if he gets one subscriber, that's one getting him one closure. So, check out Collecting Havoc. Now, we've plugged everybody else's stuff. So, now it's time to plug my stuff. Let's talk about my video here on my channel. What stores did you see the man collects in during this toy hunt? We started at Ross in Bristol, Virginia. Then we hit Ross in Greenville, Tennessee. Then King Sport Target. Then we hit two Walmarts in Kingsport, Fort Henry Drive and West Stone Drive. We hit the uh, Ross in Kingsport, and we ended the hunt at the Johnson City Ross. We're going to talk about Johnson City Ross before we do store the hunt, because apparently last time I was in that store during my Ross Stravaganza video, check that out if you haven't, it's the one right before this one, um, I found a Transformer. I saw a Transformer there that was rare. I did not know, guys. I only know if I saw that when I was looking in that store, but um, if you're looking for one called Cosmos, apparently he was a Walmart exclusive, very hard to find. He was in that um, Ross in Johnson City during my last video. If you do go to that video and watch it, uh, it's around the 48-minute uh, mark in that. You'll see him under a skateboard. I think he's under a skateboard or so, maybe a Spider-Man toy there where the Marge Simpson pops were, but... If you're looking for that, check your Ross stores. Apparently, it's hitting there as well. Now, let's talk about Store the Hunt. What was the Store the Hunt? And, talking about Ross some more, we're going to give it to a Ross store this time. The Ross in Greenville. My little Ross store here in the town where I live. And the reason I'm giving that Store the Hunt, my little Ross doesn't hardly get any of the big sexy items. It's usually one of the last ones to get anything. And we found a lot of good stuff there over the weekend. We found the Lord Zeb Power Rangers helmet. We found a classic Loki Marvel Legends. We found Zombie Iron Man Marvel Legends. The Amazon Flash 5 Pack. Oh, what else? The Psycho Man. That carded Psycho Man from Fantastic Four. Um, I haven't seen anybody else that show up in anybody else's Raw stores. Now, it's, it's not the sexiest Marvel Legends figure, so everybody should, could be finding it and just not posting it because of the one that it is. But still, it was cool to see it there at the Raw store. So, Greenville Ross, you got store of the hunt for this uh, hunt. So, always glad to give it to one of my hometown stores. All right, that's got the store of the hunt set up. Let's lead into the man's top three. What was the top three coolest things, in my opinion, I saw on this toy hunt? Well, we're going to go back to Ross with number three, and we're going to give it to Zombie Iron Man. The reason I'm giving it to Zombie Iron Man, usually when I see other hunters finding stuff that I want, I've got to spend weeks trying to find it. You know, I was able to find Zombie Iron Man relatively quick, and I found it at my hometown, Greenville Ross. 
So because I found that so quickly there, I'm going to give it number three. And I really like that figure. I like the Marvel vs. Zombies storyline. I've got two of Scarlet Witch. I've got two of Zombie Captain America. Now I've got two Zombie Iron Men to open up and do something with here in the Man Cave. So I was glad to find that figure. That was one of the ones I really wanted to find. I was afraid I wouldn't find in my area. And hey, I found it pretty, pretty quickly there from when I started seeing other people find it. So Zombie Iron Man, you're number three. Number two. What was number two? And we're going to give number two to something I found two of in this video, and that is the Micro Galaxy Squadron, the rare, the one of 15,000. I'm going to say Wedges Damaged X-Wing, because I can't pronounce the last name, and I don't want to offend any Star Wars fans by my lack of knowledge of that genre. But I really love the little vehicle series there. I love the Micro Galaxy Squadron. Um, I've actually got several of those now, but it was cool to find that rare one there at the Walmart and Kingsport on West Market Street, and they had two of them there. Uh, now, T3 Collects, or someone, I don't know who it was, let me know. That was the one, I actually know it was Yukon Field. He found those at his uh, Ross store, one of his hunt videos. But they were showing up at Ross, those rare Chase uh, Micro Galaxy Squadrons there. I unfortunately, I didn't find it at Ross, so I had to pay full retail for it, because I did pick that up. But it was cool to see that there at Walmart. And now, that's got number two solidified. Now, let's discuss what was... What took that spot right there? What's number one for this toy hunt video? We're going to give that to Tunnel Rat. We found Tunnel Rat at the uh, Kingsport Target with all those Joes. That was the only one of him they had. Only the second time I have seen Tunnel Rat on a toy hunt. Uh, I found him one time in GameStop there in Bristol, Virginia, but I passed up on him. I got Firefly instead. But again, Tunnel Rat is one. I've still got my retro size G.I. Joe with him. I always liked him back on the cartoon. or the, I think I've... I was more familiar with him in the comic book, I think, than the cartoon. I, it's been years. Lord have mercy, 25, 30 years ago. I can't remember. But anyways, he was one of my favorite Joes there. So it was cool to see him there at the Kingsport Target. Didn't expect to see him. As we're looking for Hawk and some other the new ones, didn't think about Tunnel Rat showing back up. So it's cool to see him there at the Target in Kingsport. There we go, guys. Now we're going to head into the toy hall. What did I buy this time? What have I wasted all my money on for this video? We're going to start with, we'll start with Ross. What did I pick up from Ross? And this one came from the one in Bristol, Virginia. I did pick up the Fortnite Shark. This thing is only $4.99 at Ross. Um, I saw it at Ollie's and started to get it a while back, but it's 8 bucks there, so I didn't want to give 8 but I would do 5 on it. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It just looks really, really cool, so I wanted to pick it up there for 5 I thought 5 bucks. what's it going to hurt to pick this up? I can find something to do with it. And my other Ross pickup, I've already spoiled, talking about in the top three, we did get the zombie Iron Man that I found here at the home base Ross. And again, we're going to crack this baby open and do something with him and zombie Cap and zombie Scarlet Witch. All right, next we'll talk about the Target in Kingsport. We had a pickup from there. You can probably guess what it was. Boom, we picked up Tunnel Rat. I passed on him once. I wouldn't pass on him again. You can see there on the back of the car, it's a really awesome looking figure. And looking forward to getting this over there with the rest of my G.I. Joe classifieds. Uh, next we will do, we'll do the Walmart and West Stone Drive in Kingsport. And again, you know what I picked up there. We got the X-Wing. We got the um, Chase 1 of 15,000 Micro Galaxy Squadron to go with the rest of my chases and rares I have picked up from this line. And again, I was really excited to find this one there. And they had two of them at that store. And we picked up one of them, which is going into the collection. Okay, I had a couple of off-camera pickups uh, from Target in Bristol, Virginia there on Friday after work. They had this new little five-pack of Batman-related Hot Wheels. So we did pick this up. The Batmobile looks awesome in that. That I'm guessing that's a Batcopter. looks great as well. I'm a sucker for Batman Hot Wheels. Always have been, always will be. I've got several of these little five-packs of, of Batman-themed cars. So we got this one to go with those. And then to stay with that Batman Hot Wheels theme, I found this thing at the home base. I think I might have found this during the Toy Hunt video as well. I don't know if I included that footage or not. But the Batman vs. Superman uh, Batmobile, and it's, oh, this is really cool looking. The way they did the little blue trim around the wheels there, it looks great. was excited to find this. I am a sucker for Batmobiles from Hot Wheels. So, of course, we picked this up and put that with our other Batmobiles. Uh, let's see, where do we go next here? Let's go with some online pickups. That's all I've got left here. We're going to start first with eBay and a purchase I did not remember making. I had made an offer on this and kind of forgot about it. I don't know how long it sat on there for the guy accepted it, but I got it. I think it might have been during this hunt video if I put that footage in, but I got a notification from eBay that my order was shipped and an order was confirmed. I was like, man, what did I buy? I don't remember bidding on anything, but... We did pick up the, I call it Solar Suit Superman, but it's Laser Superman again. I'm trying to complete this old Kenner Man of Steel figure line. 
Uh, to me, this is one of the better figures of that line. I wanted this so bad when I was a kid. On how many times I played out the Doomsday storyline with my action figures, and I needed this one, to, you know, to do the whole uh, Return of Superman, the Reign of the Superman storyline there. But we did pick up the Laser, uh, what's it called? Laser Superman, just Laser Superman, okay. From Kenner, Man of Steel. Card is in really good shape. Got a slight warp to it. Not much, though, for a 20-plus-year-old figure. Glad to have this and looking forward to getting all the rest of this line. All right, Walmart.com. I can't remember what day it was, but they were having a stupid, crazy sale online. It may still be going on. I don't know, but I did pick up a couple of things off of that, and I hope a lot of you guys took advantage of that as well. Now, the only bad thing, Walmart shipping, it's usually not the best. And yeah, these are dinged up a little bit, but it's not all that bad. But we did pick up the Crimson Alley Viper. This thing was 12 bucks on Walmart.com, $11.97. I wish I would have got more than one, to be honest with you. These things look great. We did pick that up. And check it out on the back. Look at that figure. That looks great. But again, we did pick up the Crimson Alley Viper there from Walmart.com during their little online sale. I need to quit turning my mouth away from the microphone so you can hear me. The next one I picked up, I was really excited to see this one on sale. I wanted this two-pack so bad, but I didn't want to pay the full price for it. It was down to 27 bucks on the website there. We got the six arm Spider Man and the Morbius two pack Marvel Legends. And now the Spider Man, don't get me wrong, the six arm Spidey's cool. I remember that whole storyline in the comics there. But the Morbius figure, look at Morbius. Oh man, that looks awesome. It, I'm tempted to open this one, guys, just for Morbius. Actually, it's got a pretty big crease and dent right down the, the seam of the box there. That should give me an excuse to open this and not feel bad about having something out of the box. Um, that Morbius figure looks great. Was stoked to get this thing for $27 off Walmart. Um, last time I checked, it was still on sale, but I did not look today, and today being Sunday. So check Walmart.com if you're looking this thing, and they may still be on sale. I don't know. And the last of my online pickups is going to be a Christmas decoration in the Man Collects household. Now, a lot of you may see online this little meme of people putting a Predator figure at the top of their Christmas tree instead of an angel, star, whatever you may use. Well, I showed that to my wife, and she agreed to let me do that because I think Kelly thought there's no way he's going to open that Predator figure just to put it on top of a Christmas tree when he has all of his others in a box. And she knows the man collects. She was right. What she didn't anticipate was this thing being on sale on Target's website and me buying another one. So, ha <laughs> I bought this thing. This is going to come out of the box. It's going to go on top of my Christmas tree. And I'll do a short. I'll put some pictures or something out there whenever I get that up there. But, yep, got me a Predator Christmas tree topper for the old Christmas tree. All right, everybody, that is it. That is the video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Now we're going to plug some social media for The Man Collects, and we're going to start with Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, consider going there and giving me a follow. If you look at my About page on YouTube or the description of this video, or you'll see the, the link right here on the bottom of the screen flashing for you, that'll take you to The Man Collects on Instagram. Now I'm trying to post more on there, trying to get more active on Instagram, so check me out on there and give me a follow and see what I post on Instagram. And then, of course, my favorite form of social media is this YouTube channel. If you're a first-time viewer to my content, you've come back so many times and you just haven't hit that little subscribe button, consider clicking subscribe to The Man Collects and seeing what comes down the pipe here on the YouTube channel. All right, guys, all that being said, we're going to wrap this up. Hope you had a great weekend. And as always, I hope your week is off to a wonderful start. And The Man Collects, I'll see you back here Wednesday.